48, 52, 48, 52. Which one's better? I don't know. Let's talk about it. We get this question all the time. Should I buy a 52 volt battery or a 48 volt battery? So I'm gonna address that question today. E-bike batteries range anywhere from 24 volts all the way up to 72 volts. 72 volts being completely unnecessary, but they're so much fun. We just did a 72 volt conversion with the CYC X1 Pro model, and it's so much fun to ride. I'll put a link of that video up here somewhere so you guys can check that out. The most common type of batteries are 48 volts and the 52 volt battery. Most of the batteries that you see will resemble this shape. So you can it's uh, so you can put it on the down tube. It's the most convenient way to mount the battery on your bike. But batteries come in all shapes and sizes, ranging from back rack batteries or custom batteries. Sometimes with full suspension bikes, you can't fit these kind of batteries on the down tube. So you may need a custom battery um, to fit in there with the shock that's there. So let me tell you an industry secret. So the number you see, the 52 volts, the 48 volts. That's not really accurate. Let me explain. So that number comes from the olden days of e-bikes when e-bikes were powered mainly by lead acid batteries. Lead acid batteries used to come in two volt cells. So it was much easier to just series up the two volt cells all the way up to 36 or 48, 52, and it was a nice clean number. That's not the case with lithium ion cells. So the e-bike industry as a whole decided to keep the numbers the same when they transferred everything over to lithium ion cells, which makes it nice for a consumer because they can just read the label as 48 volts and it's 48 volts and they can they know it's the same thing. And you know, if they're just upgrading their battery from a lead acid to a lithium ion, it's easy for them to just upgrade. So with lithium ion cells, each cell has a nominal voltage of 3.7 approximately, and a fully charged cell has a 4.2 voltage. Now, the difference, main difference is the 52 volt has an extra cell in series. So it has 14 cells in series that makes it a 52 volt battery. And the 48 has a 13 cells in series to make it a 48 volt battery. So if you take the 3.7 number and you multiply it by 13, you're gonna get 48.1. And if you take that 3.7 number and multiply it by 14, you're gonna get 51.8. So there's slight variation and it's not exactly at 48 or 52, but it's very close. But it, they're still called 52 volt and 48 volts because it's just coming from the olden lead acid battery days. Now, if you take a fully charged battery, the 48 will be at 54.6 and the 52 volt will be at 58.8. So you just divide that, divide the 4.2 number, which is a fully charged cell, by 13 or 14 and you'll get that number. If you look on a charger, you'll see the number 54.6 instead of 48 volts. And with the 50, 52 volt battery, you'll see 58.8 instead of 52. So that's where those numbers are coming from. If you look on the voltage chart, the battery initially in the first 10, 15%, it'll drop down a little bit and it'll be in that nominal voltage range. So for a 48 volt battery, it will be 46 to 50 volts. And for a 52 volt battery, it will be in that 50 to 54 volt range. And it will stay in those ranges for about 75 to 80% of the charge cycle. And then after that, it will just dive off. So that's when it gets dangerous. At about 15% battery charge left, you should probably stop using the battery uh, not to damage it. So the power output of your motor is calculated in watts. Watts is volts times amps. Each battery has its discharge. These batteries can discharge up to 40 amps. So anything under 40 amps, these batteries can handle just fine. There's a myth out there that with a higher voltage battery, you can, you can run the motor more efficiently and you'll get more distance out of the same amp hours. Well, that's true, but not always. It depends. Uh, it depends on the controller. If the controller is set to pull a certain amount of amps, it's gonna pull those amount of amps regardless of the voltage of the battery. There's some controllers out there that are designed to be at a certain amount of wattage of the motor. So if the controller is designed to be at a thousand watts, 
then with a higher voltage battery, you can run it more efficiently and thus pulling less amp. So just like the formula, volts times amps is watts. So if the watts are a thousand and you bump up the voltage, then you're pulling less amps, thus giving you longer distance. So generally with a higher uh, voltage, you're gonna get a higher top speed. And we're gonna do a speed test run outside with the both of the batteries with the same amp so you guys can see the difference. So, uh, which one's better, 52 or 48? Well, it depends on you. Um, if you're trying to get as much power out of the motor and you're looking for higher top speed, then go with the 52 volt. But if you're on a budget or uh, top speed doesn't really matter to you, you're not looking to get every single kilometer or miles per hour out of that motor, then go with the 48 volt. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take these batteries, and I'm gonna head outside, and we're gonna start testing them. All right, so now we're out here, and we're gonna do a speed test uh, with the 48 volt battery and a 52 volt battery. The parameters of the tests are gonna be exactly the same. The bike's the same, the rider's the same, and we're gonna be using a 1,000 watt BBSHD motor pulling 30 amps, so it's gonna be pulling 30 amps regardless of the battery. We're gonna be in pedal assist nine and also on gear nine so we can get the top end speed. I'm gonna start down there and I'm gonna make my way down here and I'm gonna record the top speed and we'll see what happens. All right, so I just hit 30 miles per hour, which is 48 kilometers per hour. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to switch the batteries to a 52 volt battery and we're going to keep all the parameters the same, the same kind of gear and bonus as well. We're going to see what happens. So I hit 32 miles per hour, that's 51 kilometers an hour. So as you can see, there is a two mile per hour difference between the 48 volt and the 52 volt. Higher voltage does give you higher top speed with all the other parameters keeping the same. I hope this video helped. And if it did, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.